storm has picked up some forward speed and is threatening Wall Street and New York subway system with the potential of a huge surge of seawater, according to FEMA Administrator Craig Fugate. The overall impacts of the storm surge, uh, particularly in the more uh, populated areas, uh, you know, monitoring very closely New York City and the subway system, and then the overall impact from the power outages and how widespread that is. National Hurricane Center Director Rick Nabb says Sandy is bringing buckets of rain that might be measured in feet instead of inches. Hopefully not more than one foot, but it could certainly be more than a foot in some places. Uh, you know, several inches, six to eight, in many spots isolated up to 12 or more. From Washington to Boston, subways, buses, trains, and schools are shut down, affecting a reach of about 50 million people. The Associated Press reports about 1 million people are without power at this hour. Sandy bearing down on New York City has snapped a construction crane atop an unfinished luxury tower on 57th Street. NPR's Robert Smith is there. It is a terrifying sight here. A broken crane swaying high above a city street. It looks like an ice pick about to fall. Eric Tancredi is in a crowd of New Yorkers staring up at the crane, which is just rocking in the wind. It's definitely not stable, and you don't even have the storm hit yet, which means by tonight, that's coming down. I'm sorry to say it, but it's not even, it's dangling. There's nothing really supporting that thing, so. Police and fire crews have cordoned off at least four square city blocks around the broken crane. New York City had made a point of saying that they had reinspected all of the city's cranes yesterday before the hurricane arrived. Robert Smith, NPR News in Midtown Manhattan. Wall Street plans to reopen on Wednesday. This is NPR. French President Francois Hollande is considering a pushing for a new tax that would see search engines such as Google have to pay each time they use content from French media. Hollande says he discussed the topic with Eric Schmidt, the executive chairman of Google, during a meeting in Paris today. Hollande says the rapid expansion of the digital economy means, means that tax laws need to be updated in order to reward French media content. Google opposes 